welcome to the San Agustin Church. And uh, we're inside the antechamber. It's located in the posteria. And uh, the San Agustin Church was built in 1587. And uh, it's the oldest church in the Philippines. So if you could please follow me, please watch your step. Let's go around San Agustin Church. Welcome. You go to develop destinations in the world. What we can say are the heroes or the models of their industry is really their tour guides, especially Europe, where tour guiding is such a prestigious profession. And the purpose of Mabuhay Guides is really to make it a prestigious profession in the tourism sector, an alternative to young people who are looking at, you know, joining the uh, tourism workforce. The Mabuhay Guides program has been such an amazing experience. The leaders of the fields have taught us. The lectures were very, very inspiring. Hearing it again sort of reaffirmed my identity as a Filipino. Here I am again learning all about history for the second time and I need to tune myself up just to be aligned with the rest of the group, otherwise I'll fall behind. I wasn't expecting that we would be handled by some of our national artists and I really love them because some of them even brought live visual aids. The lectures are very passionate and I learned more from them in four weeks than when I was still studying. The lectures were amazing. They had passion burning in their eyes and more than what they taught us, I was very inspired by their nationalism. I know I love the Philippines coming into the program. The love in my heart was fanned furthermore by the lecturers. It made me see, see what we look at every day, but it made me see things that around, are around us. They gave us a lot of insight about the Filipino themselves. From being a nominal Filipino, if there ever is such a thing as a nominal Filipino, after three weeks, I was transformed to being a fan of my own country. Four corridors comprise the quadrangular cloister of this monastery. And at each corridor, there is a corresponding retablo, as what you see here. The communication seminar is part of the program that would make us more effective speakers. We learned how to speak in public. We learned how to be comfortable within ourselves and what we have to say. From the communication seminar, I realized that I had some habits that I needed to weed out. I learned to concentrate more on the basics of the five W's and also the basic information that we should share to our uh, guests. We needed to find out what the top visual priorities were and to structure the information that we needed to give to our guests. To become a really effective speaker, what to say, how much you should say, how many, when you should say it. It was more of building up your confidence in speaking in public. The most important thing I've learned about that is to think about your audience and not to think about yourself. I learned that a, a big part of tour guiding is the commentary. And the communication seminar helped us to make really good commentaries about where we are guiding. And it taught us how to say something about something which is not really there. Most of us in the Malbuhay Guides program were a bit shy. We're not so used to talking in public. But the communication seminar taught us how to deal with being on the spotlight and how to deal with our nervousness. I learned that how to be not so nervous. I was more nervous before. <laughs> and I learned how to control my hands because when I get nervous, I usually do all these funny gestures. The main point of the communication seminar, it's really building up your, how you project yourself and how you communicate and effectively using your voice and your words as your investment in guiding. During the communication seminar, I learned a lot in imparting myself, and I learned a lot of uh, getting out of my shell. The best learning that I have gathered is that to focus on my strengths, on what I have, build my strength around it, and not to dwell too much on my weaknesses.
practical training. This was training every day for a few weeks. We had bus guiding, we had sight guiding, and we had walking tours. And Nicola and Roger would go out with us as a group and we would practice. The practical training was very rigorous. It's not easy if you have to ride in a bus and go around the bus route three or four times in a day. And then it's not easy also getting out of the bus in the heat of the afternoon and walking around Intramuros for two or three times in a day. But it taught us a lot. I will never look at Intramuros the same way again. And I could say that if I close my eyes and pass by Ross Boulevard, I know every statue there is to know. And I lost a lot of weight during the training because we had to walk a lot in Fort Santiago and San Agustin Church. We realized that as we went through each turn, there's always a way to make your performance much better. Mm -hmm. So there's always something to improve, always something new to notice in each site, and there's always another aspect that you can present to the tourists. What we learned from the London trainers is that really what you should be is a friendly and approachable guide because in the end, that's what people respond to. Being animated, it was really a struggle for me. I couldn't fidget or really move about and flail my arms. They also taught us to always ensure the safety of our tourists. And the practical training was the fun part of the whole training program because we get to go outside in the field, even if it was scorching hot here in Entramuros. The London trainers are one of the best mentors I have ever encountered. They were brilliant and they were very, very generous with their skills. I was really encouraged, inspired, and challenged by them. The London trainers were masters of the art of guiding. The most important thing that I admire about them is their optimism. Because even if I fail to perform as what I was expected to, they never fail to give me positive feedback. We were already pressured <laughs> on what's thrown on us and we need that pat in the back at that moment. So it's a big welcome that finally they arrived. They were perfectionists, but they were also very diplomatic in giving their critiques of our performance. Mm -hmm. And in the long run, we began to realize that we wanted to strive for perfection. Tour guiding is actually an art. And if it's an art, then our London tour guides are great artists. 